Hi yogis, today we'll be doing a detoxification flow, assisting our body in that cleansing process and stimulating that circulation system. Hope you enjoy the practice, let's get started. Coming to your mats, we'll start with a gentle meditation just to ground, letting you know also that relieving stress in meditation is a great way to detox and make your organs work more properly because when you're in a state of stress, your organs kind of shut down. They're like, I'm in a flight or fight mode. So everything here, everything that works on cleansing and clearing bacteria from the body and harmful toxins turns off. And it goes into, okay, I need to either run or I need to freeze or whatever you need to do. So when you relieve any stress from your life, whether it's in meditation or just practicing yoga or any kind of thing that in your life makes you feel less stressed, it's a perfect way to reboot your organ system and cleanse your body, just so you know already, off the bat. So coming into your meditation, tall spine, heart radiating forward, shoulders rolled back, starting to connect to your breath, hands can be at the center on your legs. <sighs> Breathing deeply through the nose, and we'll be practicing a deep yogic breath throughout our whole meditation. What does that mean? Just really breathe slowly and deeply. So you feel the breath traveling throughout your whole upper body, all the way from your hips to your nose. If you feel like your breath is kind of shallow, just try to slow it down and deepen it. That's all you have to do for a deep yogic breath. So you wanna feel the air traveling from your nose, down your throat, into your lungs, expanding your lungs, going down into your belly and expanding your belly, all the way till you feel the muscles around your hips and your pelvic floor starting to be used as well. And then the same on the way out, just traveling the journey of the breath and taking deep full breaths through the nose. You can even place one hand or both hands on your belly to make sure that you're really getting to those deep regions in your breath. If you already can feel your belly expanding and going back to center, then you don't have to place your hand. But if it feels kind of lost, you can always find that physical touch to help you move a little bit more deeply through the breath to get there. Also noting that even just from breathing, you're detoxing the body and releasing carbon dioxide on every exhale you make, which is a harmful element in our body and in the world. So you really want to work on those exhales, start lengthening the exhales a little bit more than the inhales. If it helps you, you can count maybe three seconds on the inhale and four seconds on the exhale or any number that suits you, just trying to make that exhale a little bit longer. Take a couple more deep yogic breaths. And then from here, We'll practice one more breathing technique called Kapalabhati. We've probably done it together before. If we haven't, I'll go over it quickly. 
as if you place your hand on your belly and you do a ka. It's gonna feel like that same movement of the belly coming inwards actively. If you've done it before, you can already start your practice. If not, you're gonna place one hand on the belly just so you can really feel that, that tuck motion of the belly towards the center. And you wanna feel that same thing on the exhale. So it's gonna be like an active exhale and the belly comes inward. It doesn't have to be really powerful. I'm doing it pretty powerful here so you can hear those active exhales. But if you want, it can be really gentle as well. Just the... Whatever feels right to you. Getting those active, deep, oxygenating breaths to reboot our cells and clear any waste from any damaged or dying cells. And also creating heat in the body, which also creates a little bit of sweating and detoxification. So you can start whenever you want. Take a deep inhale. If you're already going, keep going. And go into your Kapalabhati practice. Keep going. Make sure you're not going too quickly too because you might start to get dizzy. Take a deep inhale and a complete exhale. Let's do one more round. When you're ready, inhale deeply and active exhales. To the right, 
Last one. Release completely. Come back to center. Noticing any differences in your energy. Maybe you'll feel a little bit dizzy from releasing all that carbon dioxide. Maybe you'll feel hot from that energetic breath technique. Whatever it is, just taking note of it, taking note how you feel. And then we'll move to Krikara, which is the cleansing of the sinuses, our nose organ. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make a really funny, scrunchy face, like this. Really scrunching the nostrils towards your nose. You're gonna do an active inhale, so it's gonna be like this. And then release gently on the exhale. We'll do two more. Scrunch the face, active inhales until you can't go anymore. And then exhale gently, releasing the facial muscles as well. Last round, scrunching the nose, active inhales. And a gentle exhale. Again, going back to that awareness, if you feel any differences in your energy, in your body, in your sinuses, maybe they feel really activated, maybe your sinuses are a little clogged, whatever it could be, just being aware of it and being with it. From here, we move to Kurma, the turtle, focusing on our eyes. What you're gonna do is maintain a beautiful posture, tall spine, heart forward, shoulders relaxed and back. Keeping the head in the same place, you're gonna inhale and start to open your eyes, looking up towards the ceiling, trying as much as possible not to blink and holding that inhale. And really feel as if someone's spreading your eyes apart. That's the, that's the energy you wanna get in your eyes here. Cleansing the eyes, creating lots of tears to moisturize the eyes as well. Once you feel like your eyes are really blinking or starting to water, or you can't hold the inhale anymore, then exhale gently and close the eyes. Two more rounds. Inhale, open the eyes, look up towards the ceiling without moving the head. Hold the inhale. And then whenever you're ready, closing the eyes, gentle exhale. Go for one last round. Inhale, open, look up. And gently close, exhale. Your eyes should feel nice and moisturized here. Lots of liquids coming out of the body, sweat, tears, snot, lots of cleansing going on. From here we'll go into the yawning by you. God given Devadatta. You're just gonna start yawning and you'll see that it just naturally happens. This connects to the organ of sound in the throat. But if you feel like your yawn is going towards the right or the left, then balance it out. If it's kind of centered, just keep centering it. Release any sound effects that you want. It can be as crazy or as loud or as gentle and quiet. It can even just be the sound of your breath without any extra noises, whatever suits you. And then we'll move to the last outer value, Dhananjay, which is the victorious. Using our skin organ, we're gonna lift up our hands in this victorious posture and keep yawning at the same time. Lifting, 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 finding the length in your body. Exhale, release the hands onto your legs. <sighs> Two more. Yawning in this victorious posture. Exhale, release. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Exhale. Beautiful work. Love all those Victoria, victorious postures I see out there. From here, we're gonna come on over and find the child's pose. Sitting
Keeping on the heels, hands come forward. Gentle stretch in the shoulders. We'll take three deep breaths here before we move forward into some child's pose cobra movements. Let's take this time in your child's pose just to really go over all the breathing techniques in our meditation process, all the things we've covered until now, focused on detoxification and cleansing, just covering those and also being aware of how you feel right now after practicing those things. Do you feel calmer? Do you feel hot? Do you feel happy? Whatever it could be. Just being aware of any physical, mental, or emotional feeling. From here, we'll go into some stimulating movements. From your child's pose, reaching the hands forward as much as you can. And start to slide through the arms and inhale to Cobra. From here, you're gonna move the weight back and exhale to Child's Pose. Keep going at your own pace, inhaling forward, exhaling back. You can do whatever you want with the toes, if you wanna to be high on the toes or on the top of your feet. Just make sure you're grounding into your hands, pressing into your fingertips, activating all the muscles within your hands, warming up the wrist joints. Feel free to add any variation that suits you as well. If you want to do some circling in your movement, if you want to slide through the hands like a snake and then come up, whatever feels good to you. Just connecting with your breath and the movement that we're doing now. We'll do a couple more. Increasing circulation in turn. Increasing all the circulation within our body. Blood circulation, lymph circulation. stimulating our organs to work more properly. They're already doing such a great job. So important to note that your body is already all the time detoxifying and cleansing, but we just like to practice our yoga to reduce stress and increase circulation within the body and within those organs. Let's do one more. And then we'll meet each other back in child's pose. Again, taking a moment to connect to that heat we've created within our body. And then let's bring the hands all the way to the right side, walking the fingers. So make sure that your hips stay above your feet and that you're not kind of leaning onto your hands. You want your body to stay centered, but just the arms sliding to the right and then drop the head to find a side bend variation on child pose. Trying to find some extra length here within our body. Reducing any tension or pressure on our muscles here. Creating more space in that side area of our body in the lungs and the belly which are always usually compressed. All of our weight is usually moving down to the ground. So creating a lot of length in the body and length within our twists is a great way to really reduce tension on the body, reduce any stored stress within these areas, and in turn, increase the circulation and heal our bodies more properly. Let's take one more deep breath here. And then we'll walk our fingers to the other side, to the left. As much as you can, keeping the body weight in the center and then dropping the head to the ground. Feeling the side bend in the right side of your body now. Feeling all that length within your rib cage, within your belly region.
One more deep breath. And then slowly come back to center. Let's lift up onto our hands to find a tabletop. Tuck the toes and find downward facing dog. Feel free to add any movements here in the beginning just to warm up the body. Moving the knees, shaking out the hips. Moving weight forward and back. Whatever feels good. Down dog is an amazing pose, giving you a full body stretch here. Moving lots of circulation to the head and to the heart. Let's take a couple more deep breaths here. Feel free to do this in a movement or in a static downward facing dog. One more breath. And then we'll bring our right hand to the outer left calf muscle to find a twist within our down dog. Looking beyond your left arm, moving the weight back towards your feet so there's not too much weight in that left hip. Make sure you're pressing into both feet firmly so you feel strong within your base. Couple deep breaths here. And let's change sides. Bringing the right hand back down to the ground and grabbing the right calf muscle with the left hand looking beyond your right arm. One more breath. You got this. And slowly come back to center. Let's walk the feet to the hands slowly. And find a forward fold just for a moment before we go into some twist breaths. Ground in the left hand between your feet, not right in between, but right in front and in between. So it's kind of centered. And then inhale the right hand up towards the sky, looking towards your right hand. You can bend in the opposite knee if you want to go a little bit deeper into the twist, or you can keep both the legs straight. Whatever feels better to you. And then let's exhale, switch hands, drop the right hand. Inhale, left hand comes up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift right. Exhale, lower. Keep going at your own pace. If you want to move a little bit more quickly or a little bit more slowly, whatever feels good. for length here in the heart, opening the heart towards the sky. Let's go for one more round. And then slowly rolling up to standing, vertebra by vertebra. Head comes last, close the eyes, take three deep breaths. Feeling the circulation flow from your head to your legs again. Finding length within your stance is also important. Just like I said, our weight is always compressed to the ground. So a lot of the time we won't even really feel a difference, but you're most likely just standing without any actual activation. So when you want to really lengthen within your pose, you just really ground into your feet. And lengthen through the spine, opening the heart forward, rolling the shoulders back, lifting from the top of your head to the sky. And instantly you should feel way less compression within the spine, on your hips, into your feet. You should feel really strong in your stance. Let's close the feet. And we'll go into three rounds of Surya A, Sun Salutations A, just to warm up the body again, increase the full body circulation and create heat within our body. Inhale, the hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Hands can either be on the ground or on your legs. Grounding in the hands, moving the weight back to a plank. And exhale all the way, 
Chaturanga, you can go to the ground or right before the ground, whatever you want. Inhale, upward facing dog, turning onto the tops of your feet, reaching the heart forward, legs above the ground. Exhale, Chaturanga, and down dog, sorry. Reaching the hips up towards the sky, grounding in the heels. Let's take three deep breaths here. One. Two, feel the movement of your belly coming into your ribs with every breath you take. Feels like a gentle Uddiyana Bandha, which is a core energy lock and, and cleansing practice. One more breath. Look forward in between your hands. Take two steps. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on the floor or on your legs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, long spine. Exhale, chaturanga with knees or without knees. Going to the ground or right above the ground. Inhale, cobra or up dog, really whatever feels good to you, as long as you're flowing. Exhale, down dog. Three deep breaths. One. Two. Move the weight to your heels. Feel free to bend the knees if you need or want. Three. Looking forward, take two steps. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up to standing, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last round. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, any variation. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Three deep breaths. Connect to the heat you feel in your body. Connect to the circulation, to your heartbeat, pumping blood to all your organs, pumping oxygen to all your organs. One more deep breath. Look forward, take two steps. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful work. Let's go into some balancing. All right, we're gonna ground into the right foot. Inhale, left knee to chest, hands to heart center. This will be our transition pose. We're gonna do three balance poses. Between them all, we're gonna do this. So really hold on to this pose, find a focus point, become one with it. Know that as long as that point isn't moving, neither are you. Inhale, reach the knee a little bit more to chest. Exhale, let's find eagle pose, bringing the left leg over our right and creating a bind here in the legs. You can also choose to do a, a full double leg bind where the foot is on the floor still. <laughs> Sorry, I stuttered. So that you're more balanced or you can do a full bind or you can do a half bind. So the leg isn't coming behind your calf, but you're still pressing the legs against each other. That's the most crucial part about the eagle pose. If you want, you can add the hands, bringing the left hand forward and the right on top, but you don't have to. You can stay hands to heart center if that's how you feel the most balanced. If you're with me, bind in arms, lifting the elbows above your head to get that nice shoulder stretch as well. Every breath you take may be sinking a little bit deeper into your seat. Focus on that point, breathe deeply. Feel this heat within your body, feel this length within your back. 
and let's unbind, inhale, left knee to chest, hands to heart center. From here, we'll bring our right hand to the outside of our left thigh and our left hand to the back of the room. Start to move your gaze to your back hand, finding a variation of twisted utita, twisted extended hand to big toe pose. If you want to get into that variation as well, you can grab the outside of the foot and lengthen into that leg. You don't have to, you can stay into the bent knee variation. One more breath. You got this. We got this. And then inhale, knee back to chest, hands to heart center. And then exhale, bring that left leg all the way back. Woo! Feel that right leg burn. From here, we're gonna find a high lunge. Inhale, hands come all the way up. Feel grounded on both feet, so fun. Exhale, twist towards the right. Since we have the right leg forward, we wanna find this twist here. Now in our twist, make sure your hips stay aligned and that you're not dropping in that left hip to go into the twist. Keeping the hips really aligned, active core, Keep lengthening in the spine, opening the heart to the back of the room. Let's go to some dynamic breaths. Inhale forward, hands to the sky, high lunge. Exhale, dynamic breath, twist towards the right. Inhale forward. Exhale, twist. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Beautiful. Inhale back to high lunge. Exhale, let's bring the hands to the ground and take a vinyasa coming back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga with knees or without knees. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful work. You should definitely be sweating and hot here. But we're moving still gently. We want to move in a place of calm energy, even though we're challenging ourselves, even though we're sweating and detoxing and cleansing our bodies. Let's take one more deep breath here. Always know you can take a child's pose as well. Look forward, take two steps. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful work. Let's go right into the other side. Grounding into the left foot now. Inhale, right knee to chest, hands to heart center. Exhale, straight into eagle pose, taking whatever bind in the leg that suits you. If you want to bind the arms, bringing the right hand forward and left on top. Moving the elbows away from the body. Feel free to keep hands at heart center. Deep breaths. Focus on that point. Keep sitting into your eagle. Keep reaching the elbows up. One more breath here. Unbind the hands and the leg. Knee to chest, hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, twisted utita, either grabbing the outside of your right thigh or the outside of your right foot. Right hand comes back. Lengthen in the leg if you choose to or keep it bent. And start to move your drishti to your back hand. If that's too difficult, you can stay looking forward. That's okay too. Two more breaths. You got this. Bring the knee back to chest, inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, bring the leg back for high lunge. In our high lunge, our knees above our ankle, hips aligned, core active, tall spine. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, twist to the left. Let's hold this twisted lunge for a moment, just making sure that we have the correct alignment, that our right hip isn't sinking. Hips are still aligned, core is still active. One more breath here, holding this twisted lunge. And let's go into our dynamic breath. 
Inhale to center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Couple more. Last one. Inhale, hands come back to center, high lunge. Exhale, hands come to the ground, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Let's all take a child's pose together, dropping the knees, sitting on the heels, hands come forward. Couple deep breaths, just to recenter. Connect to your heartbeat, connect to the heat. Connect to your breath. Let's take one more breath. And then we'll slowly come back up to tabletop. And take a down dog. Look forward. Two steps. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful work. We're gonna go into some twists now. BKS Iyengar, the master of Iyengar yoga, says that twists is a way to really towel squeeze all the toxins out of your body. This is what he says, I like to believe it too, and it feels that way from doing all the twists, you create a lot of heat, releasing lots of things from the body. So we're gonna do some twists here. Come to the front of your mat, feet together. Inhale, take a chair. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand comes on the outside of your left knee. Take one inhale here. Exhale, let's bring the right leg all the way to the back of the mat to find a twisted side angle. Yes. If you want, you can drop that right hand to the ground on the outside of your left foot, left hand towards the sky. Yes, beautiful work. If you can't find your balance, just keep trying. It's okay, it's all part of the process. Take one inhale here. And on the exhale, you'll start, to, you'll start to straighten that front leg to find twisted triangle. Make sure that your hips are aligned here. You can place your left hand on your sacrum to really feel that. For ease into your pose, you can place the right hand on the inside of your left leg. For more challenge, on the outside. You can always use a block as well, or a book, or a chair, and go halfway. That's okay too. Let's take one more breath here. And then we'll bring the right hand a little bit more forward and find a twisted half moon. Just lifting in that right leg. The hands and the left leg stay the same. It's just the lift in the right leg. Feel the heat, feel the burn. One more breath. Slowly lower the left hand and the right leg. And let's take a dangling forward fold, just rocking side to side. So proud. Let's do this. Body cleanse. Body sweat, body heat. <laughs> One more breath here in this dangling fold. And then let's slowly roll back up to standing. Take three deep breaths, letting the circulation flow from head to feet again, as you slowly close the feet back together, preparing for the other side. When you're ready, inhale to chair. Exhale, twist to the right, left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Inhale deeply. Exhale, bring the left leg all the way back for a twisted side angle. If you want, you can bring that left hand to the outside of your right foot. 
and right hand to the sky. For extra help, you can bring that left hand to the inside of your right leg. For more challenge, to the outside. One more deep breath here. And then we'll straighten that front leg to find twisted triangle. Again, you can place that right hand on your sacrum to make sure your hips are balanced. One more breath here. From our twisted triangle, moving away forward into your left hand, lifting in the left foot, Make sure that top leg is really active, either flexed or pointed. Right hand to the sky. Breathing deeply. Keep lifting in that left leg. One more breath. And then drop the right hand and the left leg. Dangling forward fold. So proud of you. We've, we've passed the hard standing position and we'll be moving to the ground. Slowly drop your hips and take a yogi squat. How fun is it to ground after all that flying? Make sure your, sp your spine is tall, your heart is open, your shoulder shoulders are rolled back. And playing with this contra here between your knees and your elbows to really help you keep lifting. Find length where it's hard to find length. That's yoga. <laughs> You can quote me. Couple deep breaths here. If you need to add any props under your heels, that's okay too. Do whatever you need to do to feel good within a pose. And let's go into a twist here into our yogi squat. Dropping the right arm to the ground. Lifting the left hand up towards the sky, finding this nice open twist here within our yogi squat. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, you'll start to bind the hand from in front of your right knee to your back to find a nice deep stretch here in your shoulders. Going a little bit deeper into this heart opening. Keep looking up towards the sky, keep opening your heart and your shoulder to the back. It's okay if this is too deep, and you just want to stay here, or you just want to stay here, whatever you want to do to feel good within your practice. Let's take one more breath on this side. And then drop the left hand. Inhale the right hand up towards the sky. Opening up your heart and your shoulder to the back of the room. If it feels called to you, slowly going into that bind, just twisting the hand from in front of your left leg to the back, and then dropping that right hand to catch the left hand behind. And then from here, don't just catch the hand and stay closed. Use this as a tool to keep pulling, to keep opening the heart and the shoulder to the back. This really nice open twist position within our yogi squat. One more breath. And then slowly come back to center. And let's take a seat. Woo! <sighs> Legs come forward, preparing for some fold sequences. Fold poses. Inhale, the hands come all the way up. Flex the feet. Find length in your body, length in your rib cage, length in your spine and in your chest and in your belly. Really feel that here when we lift the hands. Actively lifting, exhale, forward fold. Try to maintain that length that you just created within your fold. So it's not just like, oh, I lifted and now I folded. We're lifting and we're reaching and we're reaching and we're reaching and then we fold. You got this. I believe in you. Also use this in your breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold a little bit more deeply. Feeling your belly breath against your thigh, massaging your belly. One more breath. Inhale, hands come up to center. Exhale, lower the hands and let's bring the left 
left leg to our inner right thigh or extended for head to knee pose. Make sure that your hips are still faced forward even though you brought the leg towards you. Flex in the right foot, inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Deep breaths, keep that right foot flexed, really active. One more breath here. And then inhale, the hands come all the way up. Exhale, let's twist towards the left knee. So we're opening the hip now, keeping that right foot in the same spot. We're just twisting with the left leg and the upper body, but the right leg stays in the same place. Inhale, the hands come up to shoulder height, finding length on the sides of our shoulders and the sides of our chest, long spine. Exhale, start to side bend towards the right leg, finding a revolved head to knee pose. Lots of length here in the side body, which is what we want. Looking beyond to the sky, keep opening your chest and your heart open. Deep breaths here. Should feel really good to side bend and create length within your body. It's what it wants after all the compression it goes through. And from feeling good in the side bend, you're also releasing stress. So it's a real, it's a real double win. Let's take one more breath here. And then slowly come back up. Oh, should feel real nice and open on that side body now. Turn back to the front and let's bend the left knee, preparing for a regular seated twist. Flex in the right foot. Inhale, the hands come up, finding length. Exhale, twist towards the left. Hand comes to the outside. You can also grab your ankle if you want to go a little bit deeper into that shoulder stretch. Or you can keep the hand up and active. Make sure that left hand is close to the body, not too far, so that you can help your body find more length within the twist. Every inhale, lengthen. Every exhale, maybe go a bit deeper into the twist if that feels good to you. If just lengthening feels good, that's okay too. Mataya. Sweetie girl. Couple more deep breaths. Inhale, hands come back to center. Exhale, let's change legs, bringing the right leg to your inner left thigh. Inhale, the hands come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold to the left leg. Make sure the left leg is straight and flexed. It could be bent a little bit, but flex for sure. Use your breath as a tool. Every inhale, find more length, more heart opening. Every exhale, fold a little bit deeper. One more breath. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, returning towards the right leg now, just like we did on the other side. We'll show you from the back now. Inhale, hands come up to shoulder height. Exhale, side bend into the left. Hand comes overhead, maybe grabbing the foot. It's okay if it doesn't as well and you're here or you're here. As long as you're working on opening that shoulder back and that heart to the sky. Finding this nice twisted open position. Breathing deeply. Let this lengthening do the work that it needs to do. Enjoy the feeling. Let's take one more breath. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, turn back to the front and let's bend the right leg for a seated twist. Flexing the left foot. 
Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, twist to the right. Hand comes to the outside of your right leg. Right hand by your body, helping you find more length within your spine. So you're not slouching or leaning forward or closing the chest. You're lifting and lengthening and opening the heart to the back of the room. Couple deep breaths here. Last breath. Inhale, come back to center. Straighten both legs. Hands up to the sky. Exhale, let's slowly lower the hands. Last pose before we roll onto our backs. Boat pose. Let's bring the legs towards us. Balancing on our sit bones. Hands come forward. Every inhale, find more length in the spine. Every exhale, bring the legs closer to you or straightening them. Deep breath. Take a couple more deep breaths here. Keep lengthening. Keep opening the heart forward. Keep lifting in the legs. One more breath. And then we'll go into some active twist breaths. You can release through the mouth or through the nose. Keep going. Couple more seconds. And let's lower down. Onto our backs, woo! Oh. From here we'll go into a yin position called the twisted root. So you're gonna bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers, place them behind your head. And then going into eagle legs, you bring the left leg over the right, maybe interlacing, you don't have to, but you can. And then drop the legs to the right side, finding this nice deep reclined twist. Trying to keep both your arms on the ground. So all you have to do is just breathe, let the pose do its work, releasing tension from the muscles of our spinal column, of our rib cage, of our abs. And when we release this tension, we allow these areas to work more properly. Stretch our rib cage, and the muscles between each line of your rib cage. Creating more space for the lungs to breathe and release carbon dioxide. Massaging the abdominal organs in this twist. Stimulating them. Bringing more circulation and we change sides. Take one more deep breath here. And then slowly come back to center and change legs. The hands stay the same. If you want, you can change the bind of your fingers just for an extra added fun. And then change right leg over left, maybe binding the leg, maybe not. And then let the legs fall towards the left side. Here. Trying to keep both hands on the ground, breathing deeply, <sighs> lubricating the discs of our spine as well, creating better mobility. Couple more deep breaths here. And there's a juicy, amazing twist. Last 
last breath. And then slowly come back to center. And let's go straight into Shavasana. Opening the legs as wide as your mat or wider. Letting the head fall to the ground, shoulders away from the ears, hands by your hips, palms facing up. And release completely into your Shavasana. Feeling the weight of your body melt into the ground beneath you. Feeling your bones become heavier and heavier, weighting you to the earth. Feeling your belly rise and fall quite automatically within Shavasana. Notice the difference between your seated meditation and this Shavasana here and how the breath just so naturally comes to the belly region when we're relaxed, when we've challenged ourselves, when we've sweated a bit. Our body just wants to rest. Our body wants to rest and digest and cleanse and heal. Whereas in the beginning, it's kind of hard to really activate that belly breath. Everything kind of starts in the chest, which is where we store a lot of our stress and anxiety. So just being aware of these little things can help you throughout your home practice or your daily practice or just in your life, noticing these little techniques that can help you calm the body, calm the mind. De stress and cleanse and digest. more full deep breaths here to awaken in your physical body, wiggling the fingers and the toes. And slowly come up to a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, maintaining that Shavasana energy. And take a moment to just feel the heat on your mat from where you were just laying. Feel that heat you created, maybe sweat. <laughs> sweat, blood, and tears. Know that every time you move your body, you're creating lots of circulation and detoxing, no matter what it is. Yoga just gives that extra stress relief concept and practice as well. Take a couple deep breaths here. In your beautiful seated posture, heart forward, shoulders rolled back, lots of length in your upper body. Lots of space for your organs within your belly region, for your lungs to breathe more deeply. And bring your hands to heart center. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I really hope you enjoyed the class and had a good time. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below letting me know how it went for you. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.